Hey, Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Dan. At rep time. Yes. All right, we're back. I'm excited. Uh, it's it's going to be good. So we're doing, uh, we got a lot of units tonight. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're doing Override at its finest. Uh, so this is a, it's a very exciting story. Yeah. All right, so this takes place in the Magistracy of Canopus, right? There's like a little a little slice where the Duchy of Andurian and the Capellan Confederation and the Magistracy all sort of like come together. And there's a planet there, several planets there, but there's one called Claybrook. Yep. All right, and this has changed hands a lot over the years. Um, and the Capellans have struck a deal with the, with the Duchy, the Andurians, all right? Uh, and they, they have come to take Claybrook. And they did so successfully in their initial surprise attack. All right, but now the magistracy uh, is on to them, <clears throat> and, and uh, there have been you know some deployments. There, there are redeployments, I should say. Jump ships rerouted, uh, and a small task force of magistracy cavaliers have just landed on Claybrook yep. to take it back. Yep. All right. So uh, in our story, the, there was a there was a fierce blizzard. Uh, it is just cleared, and the magistracy has established uh, two forward bases to counter the Capellan Duchy duo. All right? Yes. What nerds. Nerds. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm Capellans this yeah, time. Yeah, you're the nerds. You're the I'm, Capellans this I'm, time. I'm rocking the Capellans. Yeah. All right, so Dan's got two lances. I've got a lance uh, with some vehicle support. We use the strike operations rules to build these forces. It was about 20 force value, uh, exactly 20 force value each. Uh, we got some, we got some tricks up our sleeves. Um, I do want to say to state on the record, I really wanted to take that Stalker 9F, the one, the mixed tech one with the targeting computer and the clan large uh, pulse lasers, but I felt bad, so I didn't. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. I had planned on ignoring it the entire game because I was like, I'm not gonna shoot it. It's, it's got it has like hardened armor, armor and yeah, like I'm like, all kinds of crap. Why would I shoot at that? Insanity. <laughs> yeah. Insanity. Uh, some of the old clan stuff is just like they're like little gems. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, somebody built it and was like. I want to build this as if I'm not playing Battletech, as if I really <laughs> want to just like murder the dude. Because almost every design in Battletech is so quirky. Yeah. yeah. Not, the, not that Stalker. Yeah. That no. Stalker is designed for one thing and one thing yeah. alone. The, be the only opponent. one standing after everybody else. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, t the mission tonight <clears throat> is Conquest. All right. So we each have uh, two objectives, basically. Uh, one's an HQ, one's a Firebase. Um, there, you know, the, the mission can be downloaded for free on our website, along with all the other ones. Um, so you can check that out. But basically, if I control my fire base, I can score on your on your HQ, right? And, yeah. and basically, we're trying to protect our stuff, take your stuff. You're doing the same thing. It's yeah. a symmetrical mission. Yep. All right. So uh, we are going to do a, a little bit of a modified deployment, though, tonight. We are going to deploy at our bases as yep. like sort of while the blizzard was underway, our forces were able to get onto the map. That way, we can get into the action a little bit quicker. Um, but that said, we are going to get right into turn one. So guys, stay tuned. The action is coming right up. All right, guys, we are back. It is after turn one uh, deployment and movement. So basically, as we said, there's modified deployment. Everybody, imagine if they just like sort of spawned on your HQ and then could make a move from that marker. That's how we played it. Yeah. Uh, I lost initiative. So the way we're playing this is with the, the override cinematic initiative bracketed system. Uh, so faster units like that Locust and these Kestrels will move towards the end of the order. Um, so I'll just talk through everything that I did and then Dan, you can tell us what you did and then we'll get into shooting. Yep. Um, so essentially my big boys deployed first. I kind of fan those out. This Victor does have stealth armor. Um, it is a magistracy, uh, magistracy owned uh, variant there. It's in the master unit list, so it's legal, guys. Uh, so <laughs> this guy is, uh, he's, he's feeling bold. He's kind of moving around out in the open. He's gonna get his big guns into play. I'm getting the Stalker and the Banshee up on this hill. Um, you know, they're gonna have a hard time seeing through this forest, uh, but hoping I can get shots or at least, you know, cover both of these angles of fire with their long range guns as my faster units move in. Now this Bushwhacker has mask. It's very, very fast, 7-11 on the movement profile. It's backed up by these Drillsons, and then my Kestrels uh, with a jump platoon each flew across here uh, into this objective, uh, basically my firebase over there. So, and then I've got my yellow jacket, and it's just kind of hovering out there in the, the clear wintry skies, uh, lining up its crosshairs on something. I'm not sure what yet. Um, so, Dan, what did you do? I uh, mostly deployed right on my HQ. <clears throat> 
in hopes that I can just start pelting you before you actually get anywhere. Sure. Um, and then that's with the um, the Rangers, and then with the Capellans, I I'm driving them from my HQ over to um, my secondary yeah. to hold that down. Hopefully, from any forward forces that Aaron's sending over. I have forward forces, Dan. You do. I and see they are that. already on their way over. Yes, I see that. <laughs> a little hovercraft plowing through oh, the snow. I feel like I had a bad time with those against those hovercraft before. Oh, God, they're so good. Um, these are uh, these are these are a, a, a variant called you know sealed, which basically means they're like environmentally sealed, but it has an MML three and twin light PPCs, which I like. Okay. Um, and those are both. Um, basically on the same tick. So they can they can do pretty well. They're not like the best uh, shots in the world. They're like, I mean, they're as good as the, the veteran pilots, but you know, we'll see what they do. They're fast. They're, they're fast, yeah, we'll see what they do. And they're, they're not super heavily armored, but you know, I am basically paired up against a Locust at the moment, so I'm not terribly That's frightened. True. That's true. Um, all right, so. For now. To start, yeah. all right, both my Kestrels are gonna fire their artillery. I'm just kidding, Dan. Um, <laughs> So we actually have to do in bracket order. So we're in we're in bracket one. Yes. All right. So all of my I lost initiative. So these three guys would normally shoot. I have no shots because they all sprinted. So we would go to your bracket one guys. It's basically to. everything in your assault lance. Oh, uh, except for the the Highlander. I did end up having to run the Highlander. So okay. So he can shoot. He but cannot the other, shoot. The other but three have shots. Yes. Um, I'm going to start with the Orion. He can fire a uh, extended L or uh, yeah, an ELRM 15. Oh. Which is extreme range. Yeah. So that's going to be a what? What is it? Plus two at extreme? Yes. Yeah, that is an extended LRM. So it's going to be a um, right. Just double. Yeah, check. yeah. You're in, yeah. You're well right. in. Uh, what are you shooting at? The stalker, Victor. I'm going to fire at the stalker. Okay. It doesn't have the uh, the reinforcer uh, heavy armor, right? Okay. Uh, n none of them do. Yeah. I think that's a seven to hit. Correct. Well, so I don't it's know. three. You're... Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, oh, that's right, because it's got that stupid, <clears throat> right, that stupid thing. All right, so hitting on sevens. Yep. That's pretty good. Hitting on a seven. And it's a miss. <laughs> LRMs go sailing into the snow. Uh, so he also has a Gauss, well, a Gauss, and that is going to be with a plus four. Okay. So that's going to be nine. nine. Yeah. Nine to hit. Here it comes. Guns are oh boy, this Orion. Wow, you. He's I got a little frost on, the, on the cockpit. I rolled, I rolled that dude, double sixes. Dan took the dice at the beginning before we started. He's like, "Let me see how these dice roll." He's like, "Oh, you know, double sixes, double sixes, double C." He just rolled them all out. Yep, I'm done. You with never do sixes. that. No, nope, you don't. All right, so that's done with the Orion. Now we're gonna start with the Battlemaster. All right. Who has uh, he has a Gauss as well. It's a uh, large Gauss, I guess. L. Oh, okay. light gauss, light yeah. gauss. Oh, light. That's a light and yes. fires. Okay, so that's a plus two to hit as well for at extreme at extreme range. Yeah, they're pretty. So he's going to be hitting on a seven as well. Okay, maybe, maybe he might, maybe not. This is just worst this is... things have happened. This is the best day ever. All right, and he <laughs> he also has a MML five to uh, fire. That's going to be on a nine. Okay. Dude, <laughs> we'll get we'll get you some new we'll, we'll get you some new oh, dice. This is no, I'm I'm loving it. This you gotta believe. You gotta believe. It's believe. it's it's because you're playing the bad guys. All right. So now <laughs> the uh, the Marauder. Okay. Going to be firing. He is. Yes, he's going to fire all his extended range PPCs. All right. Now, just a reminder, he is at a plus two yes. attacker mod because he jumped. So it's six, seven, eight, tens. I'm gonna He's tens, okay. He's tens. Who's he shooting? He's the stalker? The stalker. Everything was at the stalker, yeah. I Poor was, stalker. Yeah, I know, right? But I can't hit it. I should have taken the hardened armor one. Nope. So right. that's one. That's one. Dude, wow. Dan's, okay. Dan's off to a roaring start tonight. Okay. All right, so moving down into bracket two, <clears throat> uh, Wasp, Raven, and Shadowhawk, they all sprinted. Uh, bracket three, Bushwhackers, Drillsons, they all sprinted. Yellow Jacket did not sprint. Yellow Jacket is the only unit I have that can shoot. Uh, so I do believe that I am in range of the Battlemaster. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Uh, so that's 30. Yeah. So good there. Uh, Battlemaster is a TMM of one, right? Because you walked? Yes. All right. So uh, Yellow Jacket's three, four, I need eights. 
<clears throat> Dan, I want, I want, you, I want to roll, I want to hit and headshot. Yep. Dan's gonna be so mad. Hits. Here comes the headshot, Dan. So dumb. Oh my god, I saw the six. I was so excited. Uh, so left leg, uh, and that is going to take, I believe, five points of damage. Yeah, five points of damage. So one thing I want to I want to point out about this uh, this assault lance that I took down. Mm -hmm. So you know in the strike ops, if you guys watch the the tutorial, right, you can do all sorts of neat things. You can rank them up. You can add special characters, right. So this is a this is like a maxed out. I've got rank three, which isn't the highest rank, but it's it's still pretty good. I've got a CO and NCO, and then I gave it a specialization. So it's a direct fire assault lance. So what that means is when I hit a target with two or more units in this lance, not any of the other vehicles, just mm -hmm. in the lance, right? And they hit the same target, and you have to make a piloting check due to excessive damage. There's an additional plus two penalty okay. um, to your, you know, because you're just so off kilter. Okay. Because one guy's shooting your, your, you know, like taking out your knees, the other guy's hitting you in the head, flip over, head over heels. <laughs> I get it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> be lots of brain damage to your pilots tonight. Um, okay, so my yellow jacket shot, uh, the next thing is the locust, can't shoot, um, the kestrels, which they can shoot, but they're not going to, um, and that's that, all right? Now, basically, the way this works, the way conquest works, is we get basically control points, right, for, for controlling both of our objectives, for controlling opponents' objectives, right now we're to break even. So nobody's going to get any primary objective points. Correct. All right, so we'll move into turn two. Um, we're going to roll initiative. We're going to get right into it. So guys, stick around. Action is just about to get heated. Heated. Heated is the word I was going to say. I'm I, was, I was looking for the joke <laughs> with the ice planet and the heated, but uh. couldn't get to it. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. are happening yes uh there's so many so many things on the board it's uh it's like there's like an exponential time i don't want to call it a penalty <laughs> but the cost the more units you add it's like this uh this this growing complexity of, of like chess moves so i'll tell you I, what i did since i once again lost initiative as i do um my stalker took a step back to cover this make sure this is within well within con contestation range contested range i don't know the banshee is moving up here uh so he has you know line of sight down to the forest i was debating on going down this way but i'm not even not even gonna bother we're going we're going to the meat right there meat grind victor is flanking out feeling bold he's okay uh taking some fire he's got the stealth armor he moves pretty good you know he's feeling good about life uh jump platoon did disembark from the kestrel and is within uh, within range of my fire base to contest that. There is a VTOL Kestrel zipping up uh, the sideline there. Um, and yes, that is a six TMM when they sprint. Okay. Um, it's crazy, it's, it's true. Uh, so they can sprint now in Alpha Strike. Uh, it's a, it was like recently, semi, semi recently eroded. Um, so that guy has jump infantry, this guy does not. This guy, after he disembarked, came across here, He's going to see if he can support this vehicle cadre uh, against this Capellan Light Lance. Okay. The Bushwhacker and the Drillsons made their way down the hill. Again, the Drillsons moving a little slower because it costs two per elevation change for vehicles, or it's just one for the mech. Um, so they're all kind of keeping up with each other now. But next turn, I'm expecting hell to break loose. Uh, and then my gunship swung around here. That's at level six elevation. So you can see the battle mech. I can see pretty much anything except for you know, maybe those mechs right behind that hill, actually. I mean, it can technically see over the forest. So, um, you know, could could really hit anything except for that locust that is within hard cover. Um, still deciding what I'm going to shoot at, but that's the movement on the magistracy side. Dan, what about you? Uh, just shuffled my assaults around, uh, mm -hmm. trying to get some view on you. Kept the Orion within 
testing of the uh, my HQ so that I can still yeah. hold that. Move the uh, capellans farther over to the to start holding the secondary, and then the lan the locust to just hold that position mm. in the meantime, so I can score. I was hoping you were gonna forget to drop, <laughs> so that I would have two points and you would not. But no, is what it is. I would never forget. <clears throat> would never forget. Okay. Uh, <laughs> those jump infantry are gonna like dig in. <laughs> they're gonna bury themselves uh, in snow. You're never. You don't even know they're there. They're gonna be like the Japanese on like those for all of those crazy old islands like 50 years later the, like still ready to fight you're like guys it's over oh my god, like 3200 they're still gonna be there yeah <laughs> oh my god that's really funny oh. um okay <clears throat> so we begin shooting yes uh i will start okay uh, my jump infantry I'm gonna fire their artillery okay i'm just kidding you keep uh, on going with that everything <laughs> everything's got a long time um so Stalker, Banshee, Victor. This is what I've got. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, the Victor and the Banshee are both looking at that Battle Master. Okay. All right. So we were within long range here, 21 inches with the Victor. All right. The Victor uh, is my. Uh, actually, no, the Stalker is my MCO. The Victor is just a regular old dude with stealth armor. He has a Gauss rifle. He's got. Uh, a tick of two ER mediums and then a tick of uh, just one ER medium, but he doesn't have enough. He has like, he only has two heat sinks. Like what a, what a turd. Oh, you know what? That's because I think the stealth armor builds up heat, doesn't it? I think it reduces the sinks. Um, anyway, reduces, you know, basically it's always building up heat. Isn't that a thing? Um, I think it's built into the, the, the calculator here. So the Gauss, so I'm going to fire basically the Gauss and then a tick of two ER mediums, right arm, left arm coming in hot. Long range, so three, four, I need sixes and eights. Okay. All right? So six on the Gauss rifle, Dan. Here it comes. Hits. Sure. Eights on the, on the ER mediums. Misses. Dan's so upset about the... My first volley? Yeah, just... Nine. Another left leg shot. Ooh. <sighs> there's a, there's a How trend. much damage? A five. Five, five more. damage. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing we've got going on is the Banshee, mm -hmm. all right? So the Banshee has a targeting computer. Fun story about this lance. Mm -hmm. So the first time I built this lance, when Dan and I were drafting forces, I just picked some like, well, you know, I, was, so I like to pick models that you guys haven't seen in a while. So I was like, oh, Black Knight, Banshee, you know, three of the four mechs that I inadvertently picked had targeting computers. Then when I was like looking at it, I was like, I can't, I can't in good conscience play this. Like I had the stalker with the, insane. Yeah, it was uh, this Banshee, however, does have a targeting computer. It's the only one in my lance that was targeting. I had to have one. Yeah. Go you know? for it, man. So, Gauss. Actually, let me measure range because I think we're at extreme. I, th I don't think I'm at long yet. Oh, we are. We are at long, aren't we? I guess so. Uh, well, I mean, you tell me. What I are think, you reading over there? Uh, tw I mean, I'm at 21. Am I over your base? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So then, uh, I'm gonna fire, I got a lot of heat sinks. Uh, Gauss, I'm gonna fire, I'm gonna fire everything. Okay. All right, Cool. here we go. So I need uh, a three, four plus range. So I need fives and sevens. Fives and sevens. Dan. Yeah, that's a targeting computer for you. Uh, so Gauss rifle needs a five. Dan hates it, hits. Heavy PPC needs a, a seven, hits. ER mediums, hit. Light PPC, hits, misses. All right, so everything but a light PPC. Dan, Dan's so angry, Dan's mad at me. Uh, Gauss rifle, here we go, five points of damage, left leg. Left leg, it hits, five it's more gone. points. No, it's internal, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, so I'll get one crit there, I mean, but cool. on these well, hits. It's crazy. It's gonna hit the left leg. All right, here comes the heavy PPC. Oh, almost. That's left arm. That's five points of damage. Uh, ER mediums. Actually, it's just a single ER medium. Left arm. Two points. And then the light PPC. Seven torso. That's two points. All right, so so far we've taken 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 points of damage. All right. Uh, now, the stalker is up. 
we are definitely at extreme range. Uh, the Stalker has two LRM-15s with Artemis and an ER large. So he's skill two, three. Uh, I need sevens. All right. Mm -hmm. So the ER large hits, and then twin Artemis 15s miss, unfortunate. However, ER large is three points of damage, and that goes to the torso. So you've taken 21 points of damage, actually, 22 points of damage. Uh, you're going to be at a piloting check at the end of this phase. And because of the direct fire lance, so you're going to be a plus five to your piloting. Okay. It's so juicy. Uh, unless I continue to hit you, which I may, um, because it'll be funny. Okay. Dan doesn't think so. I have no investment <laughs> in Don't this. worry. <laughs> you're going to retaliate, Dan. Uh, it always goes that way. Uh, so, my bracket one is done. We're moving on to your bracket one. That's all of your big boys. Uh, so you can, actually, it's basically, you're going to go through all of your mechs except for your Locust. Everything can can basically act at this point. Okay. So do your worst. All righty. Uh, I guess we'll retaliate by opening up with the Battlemaster first. Okay. What do you want to go to? Long range, long range, extreme range. Probably extreme range, maybe not. Can't see these guys. Well, the Marauder and the Highlander can't see the Banshee and or the Stalker. Yeah, um, I mean, you could shoot through the forest here yeah. with the Marauder, definitely not the Highlander. You would take the the one inch, maybe, maybe, maybe a plus two penalty, depending on the angle. I'd say probably just plus one. Um, but you're right, the, the Highlander cannot see. But then I'm still taking a two if I go after the Victor anyway, so I might be better off just going after the Banshee anyway. So I think, <clears throat> logically, it makes sense. I'm going to fire... I like that. Bowmaster, Orion, and Marauder. At the Banshee. At the Banshee. Okay. Um, so we'll start with that. We'll start with the uh, Battlemaster first. And Got it. We're at long range, right? You uh, With the Banshee, you are at long range with the Battlemaster. That is correct, sir. Okay. Okay, so that'll be the Light Gauss, the MML, and the two uh, PPCs. So it'll be a 224. So it'll be a oh, math. Three, <laughs> four. Yeah, it's four plus brain. range, right? <laughs> yes, so, so five. Six, no, six. Sixes, sixes and eights. Hit. Sixes Quick. and, yes, six, yeah. two sixes and an eight. All right. So I need to hit. Oh, start. What are you firing? Gauss. All Gauss. Right. Six. You saw I was rolling off screen. I, mean, I was, I was so, rolling seven, eight, nine. And as soon as it gets on screen. <laughs> you also rolled a 12 for initiative. Oh. All right. So that was the, that was the Gauss. Uh, MML5. I need same thing. Finally hit with one. And then the... Uh, <laughs> The the dual PPCs. Yep. Which hit. That was a nine, right? Yeah. Yeah. You so needed, that's a you needed a seven or an eight or something. Yeah. Eight. That's eight. what it was. Five yep. and eights, right? So two six hits. and eights. Yep. Uh, we'll do the MML. So the MML's a, it's got a M dice, right? Yes. So what is it? One plus. One plus. Well, so it's three. like one plus three. One plus three. Okay. okay. Right. And it's it's variable range, right? Yes. So it says like one pipe, one pipe. Yes, one, one, one plus M3. Yeah, so roll three black dice, um, and one, twos, and threes will generate damage. Four, fives, and six do nothing. So you generate, what's the what's the damage cap on that? Oh, uh, hit, or damage. It's, yeah, then parentheses, parentheses yeah. it's three. It's three. Yeah. So you're going to do, yeah, you're going to do a group of two and a group of one. Group so you max two. out the damage. Group of one. It's really a max three with M3? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. MMLs are weird. So two would be to the seven? Uh, two points to the seven. Okay, got it. And this is all against the, the Banshee, just be, to confirm. Yeah, right? that's your torso. And then one damage to... Left arm. Left arm. Got it. Okay. Oh, and I missed... Oh, did I hit, I hit with the PPCs or did I? Yeah, I hit with the PPCs. You did? Yeah, yep. so I got to do that too. Right. All right. Sorry. What are they, light? Yeah. So four damage? Yes. Is that what it to is? To the eight. 
So it's a torso. That was a seven, but it's still the torso. Oh, yeah, sorry. I can read math. I can read Sorry, math. man, I'm just like so. So flustered, Dan's flustered, so flustered guys. Man. I got in his head already. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna do the Orion, who's all gonna right. be firing, I assume, at extreme range on the Banshee. Yeah, so that's basically yeah. the, because he's at 25, yeah. I'd say. Yep, perfect. Uh, so that's gonna be three, four, five, six for the LRM 15, and then eights on the Gauss. Got it. We'll do the missiles first, the LRM. Hits. Hits. All right. And then the Gauss. The Gauss. Which I said was eight, right? No. Yes, that's eight. Yeah. So that's a miss. All right. But so the LRM-15 hits, what is it, one plus M3? Yes. All right. So three black, uh, three of your, your black M dice there. All right. So two points of damage. It's parentheses five, so yeah. Yeah. All right, so two so two points, and there are going to be two groups of one in this case. So left arm. And left arm. Uh, yeah, yeah, left arm. Yeah, Two left arms. Okay. All right. Also, I forgot to roll my crit on your battle master, so we'll get to that in a second. You didn't crit. Oh, on the leg. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you forgot, uh -huh. so yeah therefore it doesn't yeah count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. All right, man, I'm trying. All right, next is going to be the Marauder Arn. And he is within, right? Because if, if the, if the he, male master is, he's definitely within. You double uh, check. Yeah, I mean, unless they're like right on the cusp. But yeah, I'm, I would imagine you're at long. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. All um, right. Now you will take the plus, remember, plus, plus two one. for jumping. Okay. And then plus one for um, the far. So basically you're at like six, seven plus range. So nines to hit. Nines to hit. Yeah. Nines. Within, that's what the PPC is, Dan? Yes, that's what the PP seals. So there's rocks in the dice tray. They're probably interfering. And then if I wanted to fire the uh, medium lasers. So we're hitting, what did I say, nines, right? Uh, affirmative. Miss. That's one. Oh, so close. So close, but no. I'm kind of rooting for you, but at the same Two. time. Nope. The duchy. Sworn enemies of the Doesn't free world's league. We'll never. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother firing, no. The lasers, because they're 11, I'll just mess anyway. Uh, yeah, and you'll build up heat. You're going to build up, or has he got like infinite heat sinks? No, he's got nine, so that- Oh my God, he has nine are... heat sinks? Yeah. Wow. So, it's that's why you can fire the LRMs. I'm not going to build up heat with fire enough medium lasers for no reason. <sighs> okay. And then the Marauder, or the uh, Highlander. Yeah. He's going to fire, I guess, at the Victor. Okay. Because that's all he can see, right? Yeah, that's affirmative. And I think that is, yeah, call it long if it's close. I think that's reasonable. Oh, um, so he's going to be firing three, four, five, six, seven, eights. He's going to be hitting on eights. Okay. <clears throat> firing Gauss first, and then he's got a LRM 20 to fire. Dude, I've never seen you roll so many snake eyes in my life. We need to get you new dice there for this turn. I'm done. I'm going home. Dan's done. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this battle report. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's it. All right. That's all. Uh, oh, wait. I guess I got I, I to fire these guys. They, they can shoot. I don't know what they can see. I mean, can they see the... The, the yellow jacket? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to shoot the yellow jacket, they can see the yellow jacket. What's he at? Probably long range, I would guess. Yeah, definitely long range. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I, mean, I don't know why he's played three, right? All right, we'll start with the Shadowhawk. Yeah. Um, so he'd be four, five, six, seven, eight, nines. Nines to hit. Okay. He's got a H PPC and an L PPC. Heavy and light. Yeah. Respectively. So he's be, he'll be firing both of those. Okay. Dude, please do not hit. Both misses. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, the Raven can fire uh, a, long, a large laser. Yeah. One large laser hitting on ends. Nope. And then we got the Wasp, yeah. who has got 
MMM L3. He'll be firing on tens as well. Okay. Or hitting on tens, right? So three, three, six, seven, eight. 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 All right. And I don't think the locust can see anything because his face is in the wall. Yeah, I think that's accurate. <laughs> um, so moving down the order, so the, the yellow jacket is up to retaliate. I have some decisions to make here. First of all, I don't even know if I'm in range of the Battlemaster anymore. Oh, I still am. Uh, it's extreme. I'm long to the, to the wasp. So uh, three, four, five, six, seven, or three, four, sevens or eights. So it's actually easier to hit the wasp. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really want to lay more more hurt on that Battlemaster, but I think if I can get a crippling shot on the Wasp, it would it would really turn the tide. Five damage is a lot. Turn um, the tide? What tide is there to turn? You're already beating the crap out of my... Sorry, my French. You're beating the crap. <laughs> Did you say crap on camera, Dan? All right, so we are going to go for the Wasp. I just want to confirm three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see how big that tree is? There's no way you can see him behind that. that tree's huge. He's painted green. <laughs> There's no way. Active camouflage. All right, it hits. Of it hits, it guys. Does. That's big. The yellow jacket you know sights in the wasp. Give me your dice. You want to trade? <laughs> you want to trade? <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe uh, in that, give that me, voodoo. Give me All right, some here we go. Dice. Six, that's torso. So five to the torso. He is in structure now. So that means he's in forced withdrawal uh, as he has, yeah, all right. Now, I have two critical checks to make. One on the wasp for the torso hit, one on the battle master for the leg hit. So I'm gonna start with the battle master since we missed that. I do not confirm. The wasp, I confirm, all right. So there's a critical hit against the wasp uh, does the Wasp have an XL engine or a light engine? What is it? XL, XL engine. All right, it's a, yeah, it's an IS one. So if I roll a four or better, that's an engine hit. Otherwise, I roll on the normal table. All right, so it's an engine hit. So the Wasp takes uh, one engine hit, which is uh, unfortunate. Now, um, the Wasp didn't sh Oh, it did shoot this turn. How many heat sinks does it have? Four. Wow. Really? Yeah. Jeez. He's a, he's cool. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, okay. So cool. All right. Uh, so the yellow jacket's done shooting. The locust can't see anything. The kestrels aren't doing anything. So that is the end of turn two. Now the battle master, uh, at the end of the combat phase, is going to need to make a piloting check. Mm -hmm. uh, his is he your CO? No. So he's he's piloting four. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna need to make a nine uh, or better to stay standing. With these beautiful dice? Do you, wanna, do you wanna use mine? Nope. Guarantee. Oh my God, you, you saw it here, guys. This is <laughs> unscripted. I told you he rolls 12s on uh, these dice. The battle master stays is, standing. Uh, okay. You said when it doesn't matter, but you know what? I'm telling you, it's important. Because you would have fallen over and like crunched your own leg off, and then you would have been stuck on the ground like a, like a goober. <sighs> okay. All right. all right. You never know. It could come back around. <laughs> the battle master against all odds Stayed remains up. standing. Right. So uh, if we go to the score, we're both, again, it's an even wash. We both are, are controlling our own bases. Nobody is in range yet. However, this little contingent's getting close over here. We've got that nasty kestrel. Zooming around in your backfield doing God knows what. I know what he's doing. I know what you're up to. I see you over there. <laughs> he's pouring like gasoline on your lawn. Uh, it's just in the shape of circles. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> you're just like, exactly. really, dude? Come on. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. He's defacing, yeah. defacing your property. Um, all right. So that said, we're going to move on to turn three. Uh, and we'll see what happens. So guys, stick around. This exciting battle is not over yet.
All right, guys, we are back. It's turn three. Uh, I lost initiative. Um, Dan switched his dice. Uh, he tested many pairs, so he seems to be happy with, uh, with, with the ones that he has. I am not happy. He's not thrilled about it. Um, but I want to talk about what I did. You can give us a little clue into your tactical uh, acumen over there, and yeah. then we'll get into shooting. So uh, the stalker continued his advance. I, I, you know, He's staying close to this home base, but he is flanking out a little bit this way to maintain his, his shots downrange. Um, I debated with the victor to really move him, basically he was in this area, to move him here, you know, kind of get him more direct in or continue to keep him out. Um, so I did opt to flank uh, that way. And, and, you know, maybe that'll draw shots in different angles. Maybe Dan will get confused. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> um, the, the Banshee uh, continuing to, to plod forward. Uh, you know, I want to hug this forest to try to cut line of sight from that Highlander if I can. Um, infantry. Doing what infantry do best, uh, holding that objective like champs. Uh, the other VTOL uh, zoomed around is basically all the way on Dan's uh, table edge there. I was very careful to keep him at long range to all of his assault mechs and, and the Orion uh, because with that TMM6 plus long range, I'm hoping that that'll keep the Kestrel alive if he does decide to shoot it or at least be a deterrent enough um, when he sees he needs to roll a 13 um, to hit. <laughs> This VTOL, uh, this Kestrel here, uh, moving in across the forest is at level four. Um, so it is one level above the forest. It can see pretty much everything over here. Um, they're not heavily armed. It just has an SRM-2, I believe. Um, and to, to quote Dan, don't tell me, oh, just an SRM-2, because that'll basically kill my locust. So that's what we might be going for this turn. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the gunship... Uh, swung around it. It's actually, you know, it actually is on the cusp of this hill, but we couldn't get it to sit straight. So basically it is, it is in this area, but it is, uh, got that juicy Gauss rifle downrange. I moved this trio. Um, I did this like crazy, like circle the wagons because I was afraid the locust was going to come around behind me, but then it didn't. Um, so I don't know. These guys might be able to see that. I know this guy can see the wasp. I don't know what he can see. Probably nothing. And the bushwhacker is going to turn its guns on, on something. So that's my plan. Uh, Dan, regale us with your tales of optimism. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're doing great over here. Um, I just shifted everything <laughs> to hold the firing line. Um, I kind of suspected Aaron would move around the uh, that building there. So my idea, my, my plan is to basically create a fire line if you want to come back around. More than you're happy like the, to, you're like to the shoot British, you. <laughs> basically. You're like pu <laughs> pumping your musket, getting ready, packing uh, the gunpowder in. Essentially, did the same thing with the assaults. Kept the Orion within <laughs> range of my uh, my HQ, and then just basically set them up for a firing line, and just hopes I can actually yeah. hit something. All right, lots of firing lines. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, it is only turn three. It feels like turn nine. Right. Uh, there's been a lot of movements. Been very intense. Yeah. So we're going to start with the Banshee, and we're going to shoot directly. I mean, I would say you don't have to shoot through the trees. For maybe the for the Marauder. The Marauder's probably clear. The Highlander, I'm pretty sure. No, the Highlander, you definitely shoot. Yeah, maybe the Marauder. Marauder. Just slide him over a little bit. <laughs> but I am going <laughs> to go for the Battlemaster uh, regardless. Because you smell blood. It's not blood. It's just oil. <laughs> Skier oil. Uh, just leaking down its leg. I can't wait to blow its left leg off. It's going to be so fun. I hope that left leg lasts forever. So like you blow off the right leg before you blow off the left leg. Once again, Dan, yes. uh, my targeting computer is whirring and beeping, making all sorts of noises. Uh, however, we are still at long range. Now, uh, three, four, I need fives and sevens again. I'm going to alpha strike. I can fire everything and build up uh, no heat. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to start with the, uh, the Gauss rifle. The Gauss rifle needs a five. Here we go. Misses. That, Dan, did you, that's a critical did error, you, right? So you shoot yourself. Did you give me your dice, Dan? <laughs> did, you, did you swap these out? I did not, sir. All right, heavy PPC needs a seven. Hits. There you go, see? ER medium. Hits. <sighs> Light PPC number one. Misses. Light PPC number two. Misses. Oh, no. All right, so heavy PPC. Ten, that's left arm. We are just pounding left that arm. left side. How much? Five? Five. Uh, ER medium. Uh, center torso or torso, that's going to be two points of damage. Okay. All right. That is a critical uh, hit. Remember that. It's critical hit where? For the left arm. Left arm. All right. I want to roll that up now. 
because I may, I may, uh, I may decide. Do you have anything in there? Do you have any weapons in there? I'll roll. I it got up. one. All right, so I confirm the critical hit. Uh, it is a six, which is a weapon attacker's choice. So you have one weapon in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll knock it out. What oh, is it? Okay. Well, it's uh, two. Uh, oh, it's a tick of two. Uh, uh, light medium. PPCs? Yeah, medium uh, lasers. Oh, medium. Oh man. Yeah. All right, so the stalker is up. Uh, we are at long range, which is I think what we've been at for a while. Um, so I have to be careful here because I could build up all kinds of heat because it's fire a stalker. Just fire I don't want to do that, um, but I am going to fire the ER large, the twin LRM 15s, uh, and then a tick of two ER mediums and a, a single head mounted ER medium. What? Aren't you shooting at this point? There's That's... another tick of two ER mediums. <laughs> um, That's what I love about the stalkers. They have so many. There's so many guns. It's ridiculous. Oh. Um, okay, mm -hmm. so uh, th uh, it's actually two, three, plus range. How is that possible, Dan? I don't know. Because your TMM sucks, and my gunnery is very good. Because it's your commander. Yeah, it's the NCO, but okay. so I need fives and sevens. All okay. right, so here we go. ER large laser, needs a five, hits. Uh, LRM 15s, hit. Uh, and then the two ER mediums need a seven here, miss. And then the single hits. All right, so we're gonna start with the lasers. Uh, so I have a, the ER large and then the single medium, then I'll get into the LRMs. So the ER large hits the torso, that's gonna be three points of damage. The ER medium hits the head for two pips. All right. Now, uh, the, your pilot is going to take a hit. Uh, so at the bottom of the card, where it says condition monitor, you're going to mark off the box that says three plus. Uh, and we'll have to make a consciousness check at the end of the turn. Now, the twin LRM 15s, they have Artemis 4. It's two plus M8. Seems bananas, Dan. I'm trying to see if I'm misreading it, but I'm not. Uh, so, but it's only a max of 10 damage. So uh, that is going to max out. All right. So it's going to be uh, five ticks of two points or five, you know, five groups of two points is what I mean to say. Five groups of two points. Yeah. Cool. So two, two to the left leg. Okay. That's another crit if you want it. Two to the torso. <clears throat> two to the left arm. The left arm is gone. Two more to the left arm, which will go to the torso. And then right arm takes two. Okay. Now, uh, I need to roll the crit on the left leg. Yeah? Yep. Does not. <clears throat> Confirm. I mean, you don't have to. It's really <laughs> close, but. So he took five, took 15 uh, from the stalker, and then he took another... Uh, seven. So he's taken 22 points of damage. So once again, I'll be at a plus five piloting check. He's good, dude. Don't he, worry. I mean, yeah, he feels he's... he feels good about life. Yeah. All right. Now the victor is up. Uh, the victor, let's check range from the victor to the battle master. They are also at long. Um, the victor is going to fire. Oh, boy. Uh, so just the gauss and the two ER mediums, because again, he's got some heat issues. So... Three, four, I need sixes and eights. So Gauss Rifle needs a six, hits. Lasers, hit. All right, so the Gauss is going to the left arm, which will go to the torso, five points. That would be a crit again. All right, and then four points go to the uh, right leg. Wrong leg, buddy. Four points? Yeah. All right, so potential torso critical, no good. All right. So I'm done. Now you can retaliate with brackets one and two for you. So that's basically all of your mechs except for your locust. Are they long range? Yeah, probably. All of these? Yeah, they are. Okay. We're gonna, we're just gonna shoot the victor. Okay. I always change targets and I know I should never do that, but I am. All right, we're gonna open up with the Battlemaster first. I can't believe that Battlemaster is still standing. It I know, right? taken he's taken so much damage. He's a champ. Um, so he took, just to, just to recap. Yeah. 22 and 7 is 28. He's going to be a plus 6 this turn when he makes his. Okay. And he needs to make a consciousness check. Yeah, I got you. He's going to be fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's a champ. 
If he's, he, he's a veteran. But if he falls down and, and hits his head again, that'll be even funnier. He's because, not going to hit his head. Because then his consciousness will be five plus. Then he could black out. <laughs> There's like actually a good chance. Oh, if that's the case, then the commissar. Look at the size come of over. his cockpit. He's definitely going to land on it. No, he's got this. Okay. That's going to be leg house, MML, and two uh, PPCs. All right, sounds good. PPCs. Sounds so, good. Or light PPCs. Yes. Two light PPCs. So it's going to be, yeah, what did I say? Eight and eight. And yeah, then, so three, four plus range is eight. Yep. Two eights and a ten. Okay. Wait a minute. The like, oh, the PPCs. stealth armor. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Oh man. I try and keep you legit. Are on it. Dan's been Dan's been on it tonight. I got to tell you what the rules. Missed that. That was the gauss. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And now tens. Yeah. Come on, Dan. That's all the five I was hoping for you. <clears throat> All right, so that's the Marauder. He okay. is now officially done and can lay down. Okay. Um, we're gonna open up with the Highlander next. So he's gonna. He only actually has the uh, Gauss and the LRM twenty okay. fire. They're gonna be hitting on eights as well. Got it. One Ooh. hit. That would have been the LRM twenty. Okay. Is that Artemis? Would say it, it would is say it in the line. Yeah. Yes, it is. AI, 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 AI uh, uh, and it is two M four or two M three. Okay. Uh, so that is yeah, three three little black dice, and you're rolling. If it's Artemis four, which I think it is, because it's a royal variant, um, fours count. So you're gonna max your damage. Okay. So damage is seven. So seven. So three groups of two, two and a group of one. Yes. All right. Head. All right, head. First head, one head. is. And 10, that's left arm, all right, got it. Nine. Left leg. What's up with the left side today? Another left leg. And right. That was uh, it, right? Oh, was that a five? That was a five. Oh, sorry, that's right leg. And I think that was it, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's Mara or the uh, Highlanders out. Yep. He's done, don't need that. And now we're gonna fire the Marauder which he will be hitting to four. Oh, right, the Battlemaster shot four. the first time. You said Marauder, but... Oh, sorry. No, nah, it's fine. I did knew I you say... meant Battlemaster. Okay. When he was done, you said Marauder, mm. and I was like, did you shoot him? But yes, <laughs> sorry. you did mean Battlemaster. Uh, he's gonna be... Yeah, he's good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Three, all right, three, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you have... What's your range mod? Oh, he's, he's skill two. Yeah, yeah five, skill six, seven. Two, two. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Sevens. Oh, he's your commander. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> now we found out who that was. Hits. That is one Go, PPC. Go, commander. It's one PPC. That is not a hit. Just one. Oh, my God, dude. I feel so bad for you. I've had these nights, Dan. This isn't even like tactics at this point. This is just, it's just sheer... just sheer luck. Yeah. Like when, I... you, when you said shh, I thought you were going to say <laughs> something else. <laughs> Because I would have right, said that. So, uh, all right. So the PPC does four damage, and it's going to do four damage to that spot. Nine. The, the left leg again. You said four damage? Yeah, four damage. All right. So uh, that is definitely piloting check worthy. And now for the Orion. The Orion. Can he even, he can see the victor. Yeah. We'll say yes. I'm and sure he can see her. I mean, can he see over the hill? I don't get down to his model eye view. Because he's shooting over that level three hill. Yeah, but you're elevated. You can see him? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Yeah. No cover or anything? You mm -hmm. can see the whole mech? Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, maybe your ankles? You All right. No, no, that's that fine. Count? Yeah. Sometimes, right, when they're like back from the hill, like it doesn't quite yeah. give you the cover. I believe you. Um, that's long range. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be firing the LR LRM 15s and the Gauss. Okay. So they're just regular LRMs. That's going to be hitting. So three, six... Seven, eight? No. It's going to be three, four, five, six. Six for the oh. LRMs. No. They're, they're gunnery. E, e LRM. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but he's gunnery three, right? Yes. So, so three, four, five. Yes. Sorry. Six, six seven, eight. No, there's no plus any at all. It's plus he's zero. plus zero? Yeah, it's plus zero. At long range? Yeah. Extended range is plus Absurd. two. Absurd. Right? Oh, so. now I thought I thought they were plus two. Dude, that's crazy. No. <laughs> That's really good. That's the only cool thing I have. <laughs> wow, plus zero at long. Uh, and then the Gauss is going to be uh, plus two, so that'll be eight. So yeah. it'll be six and eight. I think there's a Stalker two that has twin ELRM 15s. So that's a hit for the LRMs? Yeah, they're really good. 
and that is a hit, hit. for the Gauss. Yep. So Got it. Let's do the location for the Gauss first. You found me. I found them. Um, that nine. is nine. Nine? Oh my God, dude. That's left leg again, internal. Ooh, so we Potential got a crit. crit. Okay. And then we'll do the <laughs> E, uh, we'll do the... the we well, oh. got to roll M dice, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one so plus M three. Yeah, one three. With one, a max three. of five. With max of five. Yeah. So two. So you do so the group of one and a group of two. Correct. Facts. Facts. Group of two. Critical. What? Critical. That's a headshot. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, uh, and then Jeez, one dude. location. So four. Wow, oh, that was a letdown. But yeah. But well, he takes a headshot, right? He so he takes has to the take headshot. A, it does the consciousness take... the whole nine. Right. And you have a critical confirmation on oh, the right. left leg right. to make. Right. Which you do not. Nope. Uh, whew, two, four. 17 points of damage. That's Ooh, everything, huh? Piloting fired, plus two. All, fired all that. <clears throat> all right, now on to yeah. Hyanda. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> begins the short thing. This is the short thing again. <laughs> uh, the, we're gonna do the wasp first. They're, they're like they're like Chinese. They're not German. They're not. We're not. We're not House right. Steiner. They're not. Uh, next time I'll let you uh, play Steiner, and you can you can say Schusting. Medium range is twelve. Twelve, right? I think we're all within. Yeah, medium. we're within within medium. So it's gonna be six, seven, eights. Eights to hit with the wasp. All right. He's gonna be firing everything. Fire everything. Everything. He's going to be hitting, I said on eights, right? You did yes. say. So it's a MML3 and then a light PPC. Okay. So that is a miss. And a miss. Good job, guys. I just got an Good engine job. hit. He's in force withdrawal. Good job. Oh, it's actually not in force withdrawal. Just All right. so crippling the, damage, I should say. The Shadow Hawk. Uh, by the way, Dan did make his morale check off camera. He needed a six because he has yes. his commander and his NCO on the board. And then he had the engine hit, so we factored that. And he needed a six. He easily made it. That means the unit can act normally. Yes. It's no, it doesn't have to move backwards, like none of that stuff. Not yet. Unless he dies. Just unless he, no, unless he takes yeah. yeah. Well, uh, he dies, he's not going to be moving backwards either. <laughs> <laughs> Shadowhawk is going to be firing at the Bushwhacker. All right. So Bushwhacker does have partial cover. Yes. So um, he, that would be a... They're a medium, right? Because they're not oh, sure. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be four. And then he's... TMMM is three. So it's seven to hit. Yep. Okay, he's got a heavy PPC and a light PPC. And I'm hitting, what did I say, seven? I don't know. How is that possible? What's your skill? Two? Two. Two. So that's four, five, six, seven. Eight. With the partial cover. All right. Doesn't matter. <gasps> the, what? what? You got to believe in the Shadowhawk. I believe. You're just not, you're not one with the Capellan stand. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently I'm not with the Rangers either. Uh, and now, I, I don't. Do you think the Raven can see? Yeah, I think the Raven can see the. You're just giving me petty now. I, I don't even know what to think of that. <laughs> he feels like, bad can for the me. Raven, you know, can Raven see through that building with his X-ray vision? Yeah, sure, why not? No, he can. I think he can see enough for Bushwhacker. All right, so then for he's, sure he's gonna fire. I know, that's why I have problems with the bushwhacker firing everything too. I don't know what to shoot. I really want to shoot the plasma rifle and like heat somebody up, but. He's going to fire just the large laser. All right. Which is going to be, we said eight, right? Yeah. Close. Actually, it's nine for him because he's skill three. Yeah, you're right. So it doesn't matter. Okay. That's okay. It. So, quick question. <clears throat> the Shadow Hawk, how many heat sinks does the Shadow Hawk have? 27. Okay. It's reasonable. Five. He and didn't build up any heat. He, yeah, but what's what's the heavy and light build up? Three and one. Three and one. So he's a four. So even if I heat you up with one point, it's not going to do anything. Um, okay, that's helpful. So now we move into bracket three. It's my Bushwhacker, the Drillsons, and the Gunship. So I'm going to start with this Drillson here, because the only thing that he can see is the Wasp. So they're at medium range. All right, the Drillson is gunnery three. He's going to fire everything, which is uh, he's a tick of twin light PPCs and an MML3. Um, all right, so we're going to start with the MML needs seven hits, and then the tick of twin PPCs. Ah, oh, man, misses. That's the one I wanted. What are you shooting at? Sorry. The uh, 
Wasp. Okay. All right, so it's one plus M2 with a max of two. It's just one pip of damage. Oh, God. Here we go. Maybe it'd be torso. No, it's left arm. Mm. Son of a gun. Yeah, that left you side. nerd. Man. Right? <sighs> All right. The um, worst. You're the worst. The worst, literally. The worst. Literally the worst. <laughs> All right. That's more damage than most of my mechs have done this entire match so far. Just saying. Uh, well, the other Kestrel can't see anything. Okay. Uh, because he can't see through. I don't think he can see. Well, actually, the Wasp is elevated. Let me come off Wait, why is the Wasp here. Elevated, elevated? Oh, he can see the Wasp. All right. The Because the Wasp is over the... You know what I'm saying? No, but okay. But the Wasp is taller tall. than... Yeah, it's taller than... The, I'm sorry, I'm not discriminating. He's just tall. <laughs> it's just, it's just a descriptive word, well, Dan. What are you trying to say, man? All right, to the drills and the Wasp is tall. You know, to the short people, maybe he can't be seen. <laughs> maybe he's an advantage. So he's going to need the same numbers. He's going to need sevens. MML, hits. Light PPC group, hits. Okay. I call shenanigans on this, but whatever. Um, listen, I'll let your raven shoot. Uh, so, oh, no, he can, so he can definitely see he can definitely see the wasp. Oh, okay. Um, so... Put it in the comments if anybody mm -hmm. believes this. <laughs> go ahead. No, go, go ahead. Jeez, guys. <laughs> um, oh. So... MML3 is 1 plus M2. All right. So we'll start with that. So it is uh, two, it's, it's basically two pip, two ticks, so two pips of, two groups of one pip. Oof. Okay. Took a while to get out. Uh, torso. He's, He's dead. dead. Okay. Go so ahead and keep on rolling. Never bring in a wasp again. They're fun. I like <laughs> that variant. I actually like that variant a lot. <clears throat> um, they're not bad. So the bushwhacker is going to fire an ER large. Twin MML fives and two good old fashioned medium lasers um, at. Actually, no, I lied. We're gonna do plasma rifle, two medium lasers. Ooh, this is a tough one. Do I go for more damage or I'm gonna go for the better chance to hit? So ER large MMLs and medium lasers. Here we go. So uh, he's skill two. Uh, your Shadowhawk is TMM2, that's four, and then medium range, so I need fours and sixes. So ER large, barely hits. MMLs, hit. Lasers, do not hit, shockingly. All right, so uh, let's roll location on the laser. This is against the Shadowhawk, it's gonna be left leg. What the heck is going on with the left leg tonight? How much is that? Three. All right, and then the ML fives. All right, it's going to be two plus. And my max is six, so I, I cap that out. So two, four, six. All right. So it's three groups of two. Torso. Right arm. Torso. All right. Very good. So he took, he's going to have to make a piloting check to the um, Shadowhawk. He took, he took seven. Now, the gunship's up. <clears throat> so the gunship is going to fire at the Shadowhawk as well. Uh, so this belongs there. So he is at long range. I'm almost certain. Yep. And three, four, five, six, seven. I need a seven. One fire tonight, then. Torso takes five. Okay, so moving into your locust. Is your locust shooting anything? I don't think he can. He can see the he can see the castrel. I can probably see the other castrel now. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's up and above, right? Yeah, sure. It's pretty high up. <clears throat> I'll allow it. Okay, <coughs> I don't think he's he wouldn't shoot at that anyway. But he'll shoot at this guy. Okay. Yeah, because we're at the medium. Okay. <clears throat> so that'll be that's. Wasted my time, because his uh, TMM is way too high. Yeah? Yeah. Because he's going to be three, four, five, five and five is going to be in there in tens, and then the next one will be twelves. Be lucky. Go I mean, if he doesn't build up any heat. He doesn't. I mean, yeah. one hit can knock it out of the sky. I mean, they're incredibly fragile. All right. I'm Light PPC. Give, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pump you up with hope, and then. What did I say, ten? Light PPC is on? Yeah, ten. Ten and ten. 
right. You know, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> and then the 12? Yeah. Come on, give me a 12. Close. <laughs> Uh, All right. So last thing, the the last things that are up are are in fact the Kestrels. Um, So this Kestrel is going to fire at the Shadowhawk with an SRM2, skill four, uh, five, six, and then seven, eight. I need eight hits. Uh, And it is one plus M1. So... Two two pips of one point of damage. Two little two little shots there. Left arm takes one. Torso takes one. All right. I think everything's shot. I think we're all done. A few things need to happen. Number one, let's start with the easiest thing. The Shadow Hawk needs to make a piloting check. Now, I think it is just pot. Yeah, that's he's fine. It's going to be like piloting plus one or two, but he clearly makes it. Um, the next thing is the victor needs to make a piloting check. Now, the victor took a significant amount of damage. Um, so he's going to be a piloting plus two. So I need to do a six or better here. I'll just make it. All right. So he's okay. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to remember to make his consciousness check. Now, technically, you know, the piloting checks at the end of the combat phase. Consciousness is in the end phase, but I'm just going to do it all now because... He's not going to fall over again. So he's still conscious. Now, your battle master is at piloting plus six. <laughs> you made it. He made it. Uh, so he, he falls down. Yep. Now, you need to make another check to see if the pilot takes damage. Oh, my God. He made it. He made it. That's his seatbelt was fastened and the airbags deployed. Told you he was okay. He wasn't going to hit his head. Unbelievable. <laughs> he won't black out. That's disappointing for me. Well, now I have to roll for... The conscious check, don't I? Well, actually... Because you hit him in the head. Before you make your consciousness check, yeah. we should roll to see where the fall damage hits, because if it hits your head, it'll take another point. Okay. All right, Four. two says right arm. Uh, so what's his punch damage? Three, probably? Yeah, I think so. So it'll take that to the right arm. All right, and then you just need to make a uh, not snake eyes on your... Oh, please. Come on. You know me? I got this. It's, it's been building up. It's been waiting. <laughs> How long has it been since I rolled and haven't got a snake eyes? Oh, you got half so a snake close. eyes. You got a snake eye. So close. All right, so the battle master falls down. So he is prone. Um, however, he's still conscious, uh, and his pilot is only just just slightly bruised. Now, just his ego. In terms of objectives, Dan. Yeah. I am going to score a point because your fire base is contested. Yep. Um, so because we're both there, Firebase is contested, I control both of mine, you control your HQ, so I'll get a point. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't control any of yours yet, but we'll see, maybe next turn. Maybe? Maybe next turn. Maybe? But turn four is coming up. Uh, it, we are in the thick of the battle, so guys, don't go away. Stick around. We will be right back. All right, guys, we are back. It's turn four. Now, uh, there may have been a technical difficulty with our cameras last turn, so if you didn't see me at all last turn, you know why. (laughs) Um, But luckily, we have multiple cameras in the studio. Thanks to our great patrons, Dan. Uh, We love them. Uh, So if you want to help out the channel, uh, you can, of course, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Tell me how unfair I was in shooting Dan's Locust last turn. And you can can head on over to Patreon if you want to help out more. That said... We are going to get into the action here. So, I actually won initiative. Yeah. It was glorious. Amazing. Uh, but I will still tell you what I did first, um, since, you know, it's been, it's been the pattern. So, the stalker just shifted over. Um, as long as you move one inch, you can claim your full TMM. So, mm-hmm. he did that. The the Banshee carefully tried to navigate this icy hill. Uh, did not move very far. <laughs> two inches. Very fast. Uh, the Victor... Very careful about staying outside of medium range. 
I want to claim that stealth armor bonus, uh, you know, at its maximum, and I want to keep their their target numbers as high as possible. Plus, flanking out, I get better line of sight on that battle master. Um, over in this scrum, all sorts of weird things are happening. Locust, <laughs> Locust is trying to get in my rear arc. I'm not sure. You know, there's Drillson's hovering around. We got a couple of units contesting this uh, this yellow jacket gunship. Uh, looking at these lights, um, very bold, very bold. But you know, if I want to draw their fire here, it's less. You know, it's more more opportunity for me to contest. So we'll see. Um, and then most importantly, my Kestrels are in a very, very good position. So this Kestrel managed to flank behind the Assault Lance, um, and then the other Kestrel is behind basically everybody, and next turn is well positioned to drop those Jump Infantry um, at your HQ. So that was my movement. Dan, tell I me what you're thinking. I feel a little insulting when you say manage to, like he was sneakily you didn't behind know. the bushes. Like I had you didn't even no know. idea it was coming. <laughs> They're like, what's that noise? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, um, oh, I just, I obviously the Bowmaster stood up, um, and he's, uh, falling back and letting the, uh, Marauder and the Highlander take the front position. Okay. And then with the, uh, Capellans, they're, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, they're just, I was originally just trying to try and do a, like a pitched fight with the, uh, the Bushmaster, but he's being a coward. It's the Bushwhacker. Yeah, whatever. He could, he could Bushmaster himself. <laughs> <laughs> the Bushmaster. I know so it's good. a Bushwhacker. The Battle uh, Whacker. The Battle Whacker <laughs> and the Bushmaster. So good. Uh, and then he, he uh, yeah, that's that's all I got really there. <laughs> I mean, I don't. You're just definitely at this right rolling better than I am. Talk about new segments. Strategy we should do. We should do like a Battle Neck mashup, like the Bushmaster oh, and the Battle yeah. Whacker. That would be cool. We should do that. Yeah, that'd be fun. That would be. We can get. We can get fan submitted artwork to tell us what the Bushmaster would look like. <laughs> That'd be cool. That would be cool. It'd be like the bushwhacker with, with the, the arms yeah, of the battle yeah, master. Yeah. It'd be like real, like real weird looking. I may bash uh. it. It could happen. Um, all right. So let's get into shooting now. Uh, because you lost initiative, you will start with your assault lance. Mm -hmm. um, then I'll move into um, my these these three elements of my assault lance, and mm -hmm. then we'll go to your and so on and so forth. All okay. right. So here's. Hey, <laughs> I don't know Fun if anyone has noticed this, but I feel like this tree in particular has been extending outwards constantly because I've been moving the Highlander, but somehow your Banshee has been able to stay behind tree cover <laughs> this entire time, even though we are both intersecting each other. I moved this way this turn <laughs> because as far as the tree line kind of goes like this, I did not move the tree if that's I, what you're asking. I I'm, did move the I'm, Banshee I'm this way. I'm suspecting... Tree beard has been it's classic Capellan to accuse <laughs> the magistracy of shenanigans. Yeah, I am. I am uh, projecting my inner Capellan right now. All right, so oh. I'm just going to start with the uh, obviously with the, the assaults. Um, okay, and we're just going to open up. We're going to start with the uh, the the battle master. Okay, battle bush, the whatever bu you want to call it, the battle whacker, <laughs> the bush master. Um, we're gonna, <laughs> yeah. Because you're so far away over there. I hate it. I hate it. Long Why don't range. You come closer. Why don't long you range. Long, long range. I already measured it. All right. Well, what about these guys? That's definitely uh, could, could be that's medium. Definitely medium. Yeah. Could yeah. Be medium. All right. So <clears throat> I wish I would have actually not moved the Battle Master back this yeah. far now. Um, but we're going to fire the Marauder and the Highlander at the Banshee. Okay. Because why not? Why not? Why not? Maybe we'll score a nice um, critical hit. We're going to start with the uh, Marauder. Okay. He is going to get... Yep. There's two, that 12. Two and what's his TMM? One. One. So he's going to be hitting on... Three? Three plus range? Yeah. No, it range is zero for medium. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to be hitting on threes. I'm going to roll double ones the whole time. Watch. Watch this happen. Watch it happen. <laughs> These are ERPPCs? Yes. I love yeah. it. Oh. That's a hit. I'll take it. And then... Oh, wow. Told you, right? That's a hit. So two hits. Two hits. This guy's the worst commander in the history of commanders. Um, This is the worst Lance <laughs> organized like, pilots I've ever had. They're all going to be fired after this if they live. Uh, so that's going to be... Two hits, oh, right? Oh my god. So good. Yep. Um, and we're doing location. That is nine. It's four damage. 
and 10. Nine and 10. All right, so nine is gonna be the left leg and 10 is the left arm. These are four damage or five each? Four. Four damage, okay. Very good. All that's, right, that's, got it. That's all he did. On in the Highlander is, he's a medium <clears> as well. Okay. On um, what he is gonna take it, I'm assuming I'm gonna be shooting through the forest there. Um, to, to hit the, from the, oh, from the Highlander for sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's gonna be, I think so, yeah. Three, four, four to hit. Okay. Five, sorry, five to hit, because it's got the, it's also his DMM. I don't think the forest is making that much of a difference. You don't think it'll give him? I mean, no, I'm saying for the difference of four and five, it's not that, like, it's not gonna be significant. Yeah. Watch you roll all fours. Yeah. It is what it is. All right, we're starting with the Gauss. The Gauss. Okay. The Gauss. Gauss. Uh, he's gonna be firing everything. Okay. So it's gonna be fives for the Gauss and the LRM 20. <clears throat> the LRM okay. six and the medium lasers, three three times medium lasers are gonna be sevens to hit. SRM six? Yeah. Yes, SRM six is gonna be. Sorry, what did I say? No, LRM six. Oh, I know what you're SRM six. So what are you starting with? Gauss? We're Gauss. What are you gonna right. do? So it's five to hit. Yep. And that's, that's a hit. All right. Uh, LRM20, this is going to be a five. That's Oof. a hit. Uh -oh. um, SRM6, so we're going to need sevens to hit. <sighs> Getting stressed. That's a, that's a hit. Yeah. And then the uh, three Mediums. medium lasers, that's going to be a seven to hit as well. It's a mess. And that's all a right. mess. All so. right, but you hit with all the big stuff. All yes. right, so let's start with the Gauss rifle. That's direct damage. It's easy to resolve. Hit something on the right side for me. Thank three. you. All right, good little right arm there. I'll take it. And then the LRM twenty. It's what uh, two plus M two plus four. three. Two M plus M three. three. Okay, so the max is, is seven. Uh, so seven. three bla three black dice. Three black dice. Yeah, plus M three. So the M M number is always the number of dice you roll. The seven okay. is the maximum damage that you can get with the uh, on the tick. But it is no. Never mind. It's arm is four. So I hit once. Right. Yeah, so it's uh, just three points of damage. Um, so a group of two and a group of one. So that is... Group of two, got it. Group of one. Oof. All so right, so it all lands on the torso. And then right. the SRM6, which okay. is a one M2. Right, with a max of what, four, I think? Yeah. All right, so two pips of one. Or two, yeah, two groups of one. All right, so torso and... Torso and right leg. All right, so 10 points of damage there so far. Okay, so Marauder, <clears throat> and that's the Marauder and the Highlander. Actually, 18 points of damage, what am I saying? Battlemaster, can, I can't shoot through the Marauder, right? Or around the I mean, Marauder. you can, partial cover maybe, if, if part of the, you have to get down and look. I mean, if, if part of the Banshee's blocked by the Marauder, then there's partial cover. I wanna say no, because you are elevated. All right, then, then no. <clears throat> So, but was he medium? Yes, he was medium. I did check that. The Battlemaster? Yeah. All right. Double checking. Yeah. So that's going to be three, four. It's going to be four for the LRM, or the, uh, the light gauss. It's going to be six for the MM5 and six for the uh, dual light PPCs. Okay, so fours and sixes? Yes. So for the first, we're going to do the, the Gauss. Yep. That's a hit. Yikes. And then MML5. Misses. Yes. All right. And then the light PPC. All right. And that's Hits. it. All right, so the Gauss and the light PPC. It doesn't do that much damage. Well, I mean. So that's seven. That's the Gauss, right? Yeah. OK. Yikes. And then the light PPC. Yeesh. Oh, okay. So he's taking 26, if my math serves me right, 26 points of damage now. Uh, it's significant. Okay. All right, and then <clears throat> for the Orion, is going to shoot at the Victor. Okay. Because he can't turn around and shoot at that. He can. Uh, you can torso twist and shoot an arm mounted tick as long as all the weapons in the tick are on a single arm. Nah, he'll wait. He'll fire at the. Because he's going to be long range. Yeah, long or extreme, one of the two. And now it's going to be extreme range. All right. Which he still can shoot at extreme range. So right. Yeah, because he's got the crazy LRM. Yeah. 
Um, so he's going to be three, six, six, seven, eight. Yep. For the uh, for the LRM fifteen. Okay. Extend the range LRM fifteen. Six, right? That is a hit. It's a hit, folks. And then the gals is going to be who's eight, six, seven, eight. 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 Got it. One All right. hit, one miss. So the ELRM hits, uh, it's one plus M3. Yeah. Uh, with a max of five. So one, you max that out. So a group of one and two groups of two. Pull out the old Victor. Seven. Seven is torso. So that's a group of two. Group of two. Seven. And group of one. Eleven left arm. All right, got it. All right. And that is my <laughs> assault now. Yes. Okay. So the Banshee is going to have to make a piloting check at the end of the shooting phase. Presumably, if nothing else can hit it, uh, it will be at minus three, or plus three, sorry, uh, to his piloting. Uh, all right. So moving on to my knuckleheads over here, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with the... Stalker is at extreme range to everybody. So I'm gonna start by uh, aiming at the Battlemaster. We'll see, we'll see if I can hit it. Um, so at extreme range, I'll have the ER large and two LRM 15s. They're both at plus four. Two, three, I need sevens. Here we go. LRM 15s. And that's at the Marauder? Misses. No, at the Battlemaster. The Battle ER Master. large okay. misses. So I missed everything with the Stalker there. Um, Okay, so next thing is we're going to fire the uh, the victor at the Battlemaster, uh, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're at long range. So um, three, four. I need sixes and eights. All right. So Gauss rifle hits. The medium lasers miss. So Gauss rifle is going to the torso. It's five points of damage. All right, that is gonna, that's crippling damage, which means he's going to be, he's going to have to make a morale test uh, at the end of the turn. He's good. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, and I also get a critical hit check. So that is confirmed. A three, which is, actually, do you have a XL engine? Nope. I have okay. a light engine. Does that matter? Oh, you have a light engine. It yeah. does matter. So I'd have to roll to confirm that first, which I do not. And then on the regular table, a one. Uh, so one is ammo. Does he have ammo on the torso? Uh, he does. Does he have case? He does. Uh, what case does he have? Torso. No, no, oh, it's case, just case just one. Case, just case. Okay. So it's not case two. So he is going to take an engine hit, uh, and he builds up two points of heat, I believe, this turn. I gotta go double check that. Um, he builds up, like, basically from the engine hit and then an additional point. So. God bless him. Okay. So crippling damage, engine hit, all sorts of fun stuff. Now, the, the question is, I'm on my Banshee. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to fire everything at this dude. Okay. Like, it's kind of, like, annoying because mm -hmm. I just want to kill him. <laughs> it's somehow. It's somehow he's still alive. He's still got hits on this other side. You want to hit that. That's the, that's the thing. I'll start hitting his right leg. You know? <laughs> it's exactly right. <laughs> so I think what I want to do You're like, is... you are so... Close. So close to killing. Yeah. So I think I'm going to fire everything on the Banshee. Okay. I'm going to fire the Gauss and the Heavy, the PPC, at the Marauder. Okay. This is going to be my primary target. The Marauder? I think so. Are we... Yeah, I'm medium to everybody. Yeah. If I was medium to you, you definitely have to be medium. Actually, the Marauder is going to be my secondary target. The Battlemaster is going to be my primary target. We're going to fire the ER medium and the two light PPCs at the Battlemaster. Okay. The Marauder is going to be my secondary target, Gauss and Heavy PPC. Okay. All right. So against the Battlemaster, three, four. What happens if you don't kill it? I'll cry. Uh, <laughs> live on camera. <laughs> so I may not kill it, but three, uh, four, <laughs> and then medium range. So I need fives. Okay. All right. All right. I hope um, you don't lose. Twos. Uh, so hits, hits, hits. All right, so ER medium laser to the head. He's dead. No, he's not. Takes two points. That's it? Yeah. Oh, OK. All right, but he does take another pilot hit. So okay. to make sure you mark that off on the, at the bottom. Um, and then light PPC, 
floating critical hit. This okay. is this is the most like painful end. <laughs> so the the floating is going to go to the torso. So he takes two pips of the torso, he's which dead. I think will kill him. And then I confirm the critical and he's, he's knock out his engine. Oh, okay, just for you know. And then the other PPC hits him in the head and kills him. <laughs> oh, I mean he's already dead. He's like falling down. My dude's like. Let's not let's not brag about the cinematics on this, all right, man. It's been oh, bad enough. Come on, it's been so fun. <laughs> They're Andorians. I don't mean to rain on your parade. <laughs> no, you, you can't rain on my parade. It's been too great. Uh, okay, so now the weapons at the battle uh, at the Marauder, which are secondary targets. So basically, I'm counting as like skill four or five. I need fours and sixes because I'm at minus one at medium. Don't ask. Uh, so hits. Hits, so five damage of the torso, and then another five, so ten to the torso on the Marauder. Um, I guess we'll start with the <clears throat> Shadowhawk, firing into the uh, Bushwhacker. Uh, so it's going to be medium range. He's going to be hitting on what's his? Oh, Remember? sorry, they're all threes like 15, over there, right? Yeah, they're all threes. I don't understand how that thing moves so fast, but okay. Uh, so that's going to be. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to hits. Okay. On both the heavy and the light PPC. Got it. Hey, you got one. I did get one. That would have been the light PPC. All right. I could lie and say it was the heavy, but it's not. I play legit. Because uh, cool. I didn't call it, so I'm not going to lie. Well, you always going it down the list yeah. anyway. Um, so that's going to be two damage to... Uh, nine. Left uh, leg. Got it. We finally hit him. Yay. You did. You got him. Um, and then we're going to do the Raven. The Raven. Who's going to be hitting on, what did I say, sevens for the, he's going to be hitting on eights. So it's three, six, seven, eight. Yep, eights. Okay. He is going to shoot. Not everything, because he can't. We're going to do the medium lasers and the large laser. All right. We're not going to fire the missiles. And this is the Bushwhacker, yeah? Yeah. The Bushmaster. The Bushmaster. No, wait. I can't do that. Why not? Because the uh, <coughs> the large laser is two heat. And then the medium is one heat and it only has two heat sinks. No. Spill up some heat. So we're going to do the LRM6 and the medium lasers. SRM6. That's why I said SRM6. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hitting on eights. Ooh. So one hit for the SRM6. And All right, then come the lasers, baby. You got it. And the Raymond's lasers. He is no, he knows how to do his stuff. He's not he's not a real compellent. He is Otherwise, not. Otherwise he would have missed. He's not. He's actually just he's he's a uh, hired out mercenary. Nobody knows. Uh so that's gonna be hit locations, right? Uh we well, gotta check your M dice. Yes, and it's yes, one it's plus M one M two. Three, so M2? Okay. Yeah. Do it up. So uh yep. three points of damage, group of two, group of one. Group of two goes to you can re-roll that if you so desire. The nine. Alright, left leg. And the group of one. Torso. For the eight. And, and then, then the, the other group of, what is it, four? Yeah. The two medium lasers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. That goes to the five. Right leg. One, two, three, and four. Okay, got it. And the wasp is dead, so now it's up to you, because I only have the locust left. And he goes right. <clears throat> so it's Bushwhackers, Drillsons, Yellow Jacket. Oh. Um, Yellow Jacket's going to turn its guns on that Locust. Okay. All right, what is the TMM on that Locust? Four, right? Yes. So yeah. I would be uh, three, seven plus range. I believe we're at medium, which is, I believe, zero for the Gauss rifle. So I would need a seven to hit this Locust. Okay. Good shot. I, I hit the Bushwhacker. Finally, you missed something. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, here's what the Drillsons are going to do. I'm excited. So this one can draw a line of sight to the Locust. So that back one is going to shoot the Locust. Okay. All right? Okay. Uh, it's got an MML3, two light PPCs, three, seven. I need nines, though. Ah, you, hate, can you can do it. You can I go fire that. today. I hate that, but I'm gonna do it because I need to get rid of it. PPCs. Oh, 
saw the six pop. I was excited. I, know, I, was, I was excited for you. Uh, all right, this other Drillson and the Bushwhacker. Um, can they see the Shadowhawk? I don't know. The, the Bushwhacker. I, mean, the, the, I don't think the Drillson can. The Bushwhacker think, I mean, can. The Bushwhacker definitely. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start with the Drillson on the Raven. Okay. And if we do significant damage, maybe I'll have the Bushwhacker shoot it okay. uh, instead of the Shadowhawk. But all right, so MML three. So what do I need? I need um, three, four, five. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally put that. I forgot to put his. I need uh... sevens. All right. So hit with the MML. Hit with the PPCs. Uh, cool. So MML one plus M two with a max of two. So I just get a group of one, and then a group of four with the PPC. So one point of damage goes to the right leg. Four points of damage goes to the torso. Not bad, but like. Not significant enough. I think we're going to stay on the Shadowhawk with the Bushwhacker. Okay. Shadowhawk's um, fine, man. It's like you didn't do any <clears throat> damage to him at all. <laughs> so I'm going to need two, I'm like rushing over four. here. I'm total dis disinformation campaign going on. That's, uh, that's very compelling. <laughs> uh, four. So I need fours and sixes. So ER large hits. Uh, twin MMLs hit. Medium lasers, hit. All right, so ER large, three points of damage to the torso. Uh, the medium lasers, four damage to the nine, that's left leg. Four damage? Yep. And then the MMLs are two plus M8. All right. That's the maximum of six so I, I max it out so uh it's going to be two four six three groups of two here we go ready torso torso He's dead really mm -hmm. nice bushwhacker that's my co he's on form all right um so you're up with your locust uh he's gonna shoot the uh, bushwhacker in the back okay so, rear shot. Rear shot with everything. Yeah, rear shot with everything. <clears throat> so it's gonna be three, it's gonna be fives with the <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight. It's actually gonna be eight with the light PPC. And then it's gonna be three, it's gonna be sixes with the uh, ER with uh, small lasers. How did it, what, what do you need? So he's skill three, three right? Skill three. Three, six. And he's TMM to six. Three. Yeah, so that's six. six for the ER. And yeah. then the. Short range is plus two? Yeah, the, the, the light PPC is plus two. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm it. thinking that's that's not point blank. Never mind. That is short range. I was thinking that was point blank because he's like right next to each other. Oh, right. shoot. It is point blank, isn't <clears throat> it? Because they're within an inch. Yeah. You are thought. correct. Dan, you're okay. on form tonight. <clears throat> so point blank is plus two. Okay, sorry. So, no, you're right. I'm, I was now I forgot my numbers. <laughs> eight, eight, eight. No, it's eight, eight and six. And, eight and six, right? Yeah. So eight for the PPCs. Doesn't matter. Cool. Hit. That wasn't six. Oh yeah, it was a hit. Yeah. Dan, Dan is already given I'm up. So, oh yeah. Dan's done. <laughs> Dan's ready to surrender. Uh, okay, so that is um, that's two damage to his back, isn't it? Automatically. Uh, well, no. If you roll torso, it'll hit the rear armor, which you do. Uh, so how much damage is that? That's 27. Two. It's two. It's just two? Yeah, it's just two. Oh, man. Because if it was four, it would have went through. I know. Uh, That's why okay. it would have been cool. That's why you I fired did. the... Uh... Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. All right. So last but not least is the, the Kestrels. Um, so the only, only, only thing I can shoot is the one Kestrel, which, uh, you know, I'll shoot at the Marauder, I guess, in the, in the rear arc. So four, five, I think seven is what I need. He misses. All right, so that's the end of the turn. So uh, I'm going to get another objective point. Not, not two, just, you know, well, you only get one per turn, but yeah. I, I basically have sector control. So I'll get an objective point. I score another secondary, <laughs> two more secondaries for destroying the Battlemaster and the Shadowhawk as well. Yes. All right, so we do have to make some piloting checks, right? Um, my bushwhacker's going to need to make one. 
which he does. And my Banshee's gonna need to make one. So four, five, six, seven. I think the Banshee is good. Um, so. Your Battlemaster, nothing else, nothing else needs to check, right? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Either. Marauder took 10. Marauder will need to check then. So just, I shouldn't say just, but you need to make a four or better. You're good. You're good. That's when your tens come out. That's when they come out, yeah. Um, okay, so. Okay. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're going into turn five. Will the Capellans and Duchy of Andurian be driven from the planet of Claybrook? I just want to say, man, I really am trying with these Capellans, but they are just killing me. They're killing you. Killing me. All right, well, guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Right, guys, here we are. It's turn five. The Capellans and the Duchy are throwing in the towel. Uh, so we got through movement. I won the initiative, which was huge. Um, and basically, once I was able to get those VTOLs in and drop the infantry, um, you know, Dan pretty much realized that there wasn't much, you know, he could do um, to, to sort of uproot me. You know, I have these assaults closing in. He's not going to wrench those guys off the fire base. He's not going to wrench the stalker off my HQ. And, you know, with the Shadowhawk down, the Wasp down, it's basically a Bushwhacker and two fresh Drillsons against what remains of his Light Lance and that gunship too, which is nasty. Um, so, Dan, I think the, the dice betrayed you tonight. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I really do think this would have been a completely different game had I actually landed hit. Uh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would have felt a lot more, um, I guess, aggressive, but just missing kind of also really ruined my like my motivation to keep on to just be to be more reckless. The morale, Dan's morale had had dropped uh, IRL. No, yeah, absolutely. Because if you if you're not landing, then you're just basically keep on pushing in, and I, I can't. Other than, I mean, granted, the battlemaster tanked. A lot. Oh, I mean, impressive yes. amounts of damage. That's pretty much probably the only thing that really saved me from losing way more. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, you still have, you know, like if we were to play this out to, you know, 10 turns, you know, I, I think you would have lost on objective points. That's However, what I'm at, yeah. I do think this turn, had we played it out, the Banshee, if you stayed on the Banshee, would be dead. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's basically stripped and the the... The victor's not dead, but a, a lucky shot to the left leg and you cripple it. Now I have no more forward attacking force, right? So again, it comes down to the luck of the dice, right? You got very unlucky, but I do think had you hung in, you I think you would have destroyed them, but I do think it was probably too late from the objective yeah. perspective. And um, only be, my only thing to counter is like, yes, on this side of the board, yeah. But once you start counting this side of the board, I in, have that. I have one. I've yeah, won that like, pretty that's, handedly. Yeah. You're just going to sweep in, and even with the assaults, you're just going to basically from the rear and just wreck. Yeah. So a couple, and, a couple thoughts. Number one, the Raven is an interesting unit. Yeah. Leave it in the comments. I, Dan, and I both looked. We really cannot find like a very good Raven variant. Yeah. Uh, like a like an Ill Clan era, and I don't know if it was in any of the rec guides, but I don't see anyone that's like good. Um, and honestly, like that's one where I think we just need to use the, our, our like refit and modifications rules and yeah. tweak it. That's usually what I do with the Raven. It's which is what I should have done. But. Yeah, but you know it's okay, right? I mean, live and learn. I, yeah. The Shadowhawk let you down. I'm at seven seven points coming out of that thing every turn. It literally missed every time, except for one yeah. light PPC <laughs> shot. Like, <laughs> great job, buddy. <laughs> Uh, uh, the gunship was clutch, yeah. crippling that wasp in that one early shot. Right, yeah. I took I took the risk. Um, so really excited about that thing. I may I, I have a, like an iron wind. I was telling Dan I have an iron wind warrior that I modded into a yellow jacket. Actually, it's a cavalry um, chopper. It's a different. It's it's similar. 
but they're so small. And I think the new Plastic Warriors are gonna be pretty big. Okay. Um, so I, had, I hadn't painted it, but I'll have to see, I might paint it up. I might paint it up, Dan. I like the yellow jacket a lot. Okay. And then the fly symbol with a Gauss rifle is, <laughs> can be my friend. I mean, it's basically a mobile Gauss turret. It's, it's basically, basically what it is. Yeah. It's a mobile Gauss turret. Which with has a, with a TMM of four, right? Yeah, and it has yeah. 360 degree. You know, I mean, yeah. like, there's no way any, it can't hit anything. Yeah, I mean, you can always position it, right? I mean, it's super fragile, but uh, that's okay. Kestrels did awesome. High speed, just blowing around the board, dropping some infantry, doing what they do. Yeah. Like, uh, and it's the kind of thing where do you want to waste time shooting it? I don't know. Agreed. Um, so I thought they did pretty good. You That's know, the biggest was... thing about the airships is like they, uh, to me, uh, not airships, but like the, the flyers is yeah. like, it's a sink or swim. If, because if I right. managed to get a lucky shot and just, that's it, that yeah. thing is gone. Gone. But at the same time, it's like, are you gonna hit it? Are <laughs> you know you, what I mean? Yeah. Hit? Right. And it's, we've had, and to me, all these, all these years, like, We've had games where they were knocked out immediately, yeah, boom. and we've had games where they like they were a significant <coughs> right game player like this one. Yeah, yep. Where it's like you couldn't hit them, and they were just putting out damage. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's exactly right. I think that's true. And like you know, when we when we sort of scripted this mission, when we designed it, you know, we wanted to have you know we wanted to sort of test out two lances against combined arms, um, and and again, like sort of the force value lines up i i actually think you you may have a if we did it by bv mm. you might have like a slight advantage i don't i don't know like i didn't because i downgraded those crazy assaults yeah um but i thought it was relatively balanced like again it was just like it seemed lopsided because you couldn't hit yeah yeah like oh yeah. my gosh i felt like so bad from the get-go like i mean that first initial view i mean you rushed and i just was like okay i'm gonna sit here whiff, and shoot whiff, everything whiff, and it was whiff, just whiff. that entire turn like that would have been and, and i beat the battle master up yeah and i mean if the marauder would actually hit that's 15 a turn yeah just on the ppc and that's your co so he's yeah. got right he's got the extra skill buff right yeah. he's, he's skill two a gunnery two but it's tough man yeah you got unlucky um but it was still fun yeah you know, and it was very, very flavorful. I like the the idea of the magistracy coming back to the planet to, to, you know, retake it. The conquest mission was very cool. A lot of interesting movement. I liked, you know, I liked how this sort of became the, the yeah. channel yeah. of destruction while yeah. our lights were sort of out on the flank battling for supremacy. Um, but... You know, overall, it is what it is. Sometimes that's how the dice fall. I think in the in the future, what I should have done is kind of mix the two together, running like the assaults and having the lights mixed in there because they did have a lot of lo yeah. long range and extended range, and I think that would have been a little bit more success for me on the right flank. What I was actually surprised you didn't do was put your locust and deploy it on that edge and run it up the board to my fire base. Yeah, because then I couldn't have just left infantry there. But when I, you didn't deploy anything over there, I was like, oh, I'll just. I thought about it, but I, I I was like, he'll just run those those tanks over, and then it'll yeah. just be, yeah. yeah. That was my thought. I was like, yeah, but it's the only fast one I have. Everybody else will be lagging behind. Yeah, <clears throat> I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Well, yeah. you it know, lessons learned. Yeah, lessons learned. Yeah. Uh, but it was a fun one. It was a good one. Uh, so a couple of things before we wrap this one up. Number one, guys, Aries games and minis. Don't forget to head on over there to feed your Battletech addiction. Uh, minis, dice, books, paints, paintbrushes, terrain to paint. Yeah. Uh, 3D <laughs> print on demand. Yeah. All the things are over there. Uh, so every, basically, literally, uh, battle mats, everything you need, uh, Aries Games and Minis. Great prices, great shipping. Um, also, uh, I mentioned it before, if you want to get involved with the channel, head on over to Patreon. It's as little as a dollar a month, just one dollar a month. Uh, yeah, that helps. Game with Maserati yeah, as Dan's Maserati payments, <laughs> also his uh, his miniature his miniature uh, selection classes. Um, so I still can't believe about that Raven. <laughs> what a bummer! Yeah, yeah. What a bummer. It is. It is what it is. Should taken the fire be Dan. In hindsight, there's a lot of things I should have done. With Inferno SRMs against right? the vehicles, oh, and so juicy. In Would the future. have been so juicy. In the future. Yeah. yeah. In the future. Um, but anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about this battle. I hope you enjoyed this one. But that's it. Dan, any closing thoughts? You got them all already. Long live the Capellans. <laughs> oh, and I wasn't even trying to hate on the Capellans, man. I was like, I'm going to play this. I'm going to be like all about the Capellans because everybody hates on them. And they literally... They let you down. They let me down. They let you down. I, I played them like... It's right. kind of like new model syndrome because I just I relatively yeah. recently painted them. Yeah.
it is what it is. What it is. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, you heard it here. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death from Above Wargaming. Have a good night.